Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a registered nurse. It's so weird to be saying that, but I'm a registered nurse. Just started my first day on the job on the labor and delivery unit. Because I have a new job, I wanted to do a brand new nursing haul. So if you like these kinds of videos, please go ahead and keep watching so I can show you all the new goodies that I got. All right, just a quick disclaimer. I just wanna let y'all know that I am just a person who loves to go out and buy new things like when I start a new job and by no means am I bragging about any of the things that I currently have in front of me. You just have to know that as a new nurse, you obviously have to get a uniform for your job. You're gonna need shoes. My clinical shoes were the cheapest things in the world. They costed me $40 and by like the second, third clinical day, the memory foam was already done. I needed a couple new things because I am working with newborns and because my job description is doing a full head-to-toe assessment on the newborns I also had to get some things in that aspect as well so let's go ahead right into this haul before I start discussing the things that I purchased in God as gifts we do have a sponsors for today's video and that is Mayton I just wanted to show y'all how the bag was packaged now the company started in May of 2014 in Denver Colorado and the name Mayton came from one of the creators saying mate i'm in because they wanted to start up the company how cute is that so this is the bag lying down now there are four pockets there's a large pocket a smaller zipper pocket and then two pockets in the front now i can already tell the material of this is super durable you can wipe it down it also has a reflector in front which is a really nice touch and it's one of those bags that will stand up on its own and you can just go in the big pocket and do what you need to do. So the nice thing about this bag is it already does come with a couple pockets on the inside. So there's tons of room in here for you to be able to store anything you need. And it comes with two dividers. So you can put these dividers on the inside. Look, now you have more storage compartments. This bag is super large. Just a couple last things I wanted to point out about this bag. It does have handles so you can carry it with your hands and it has another strap that you can carry over your shoulder in case you don't wanna carry it with your hands that day. Now, there are four pockets on the front like I mentioned earlier and then there are two side pockets if you have any bigger items like water bottles. There is one on both sides and then when you turn it around there is a whole another back pocket so there are tons of pockets in this bag everything will be protected because it is a very padded material i think they did a great job at creating this bag there's so much space i highly recommend this bag to nurses doctors basically any type of healthcare professional that is at the hospital and i would seriously recommend this bag to home health nurses as well as nurses that work in schools or just anywhere where you have to carry everything with you this bag has so much room you can organize it the way you want to super durable it's gonna last you a while it retails for $29.99 and you can find it on amazon so if you are looking for a new nursing bag i will go ahead and leave the link for this bag in the description box down below i highly recommend it i know i'm going to be using it on days where i need to bring a lot with me because it fits so much stuff and it's super affordable for the quality of the bag first things first are my nursing scrubs now i do have a couple things i want to show you so the top unfortunately has my hospital name embroidered on them and just to make things better I don't even wear them on the unit you know being in a labor and delivery unit I have to wear the surgical scrubs that the hospital provides so I essentially spent a bunch of money on scrubs that I'm not even gonna be wearing on my day to day but they do require me to wear the scrubs in and wear the scrubs out I can't just wear anything I want like I know some units let you do that mine does not I do have to actually look put together with the hospital logo so people are able to pick me out in a crowd and know that I'm a registered nurse that works there so that's the story behind that but my hospital already had scrubs pre-printed or pre-embroidered um, so that I could purchase and they had two options for me and that was the Cherokee brand. They had a few different options of the Cherokee scrubs but 
I had those for nursing school and I just really didn't like the thickness and I didn't like how sometimes they felt a little scratchy to me, but I mean, they did their job, but I did get the Grey's Anatomy scrubs. These were the only other options that I had. So this pair of scrubs that I am holding has just two pockets on the front. And yes, there is already cat hair on them because my sister has two cats and they just love to shed. Now for the pants, I bought joggers and that is because I do not like wide flare pants I didn't even want the straight pants now my dad and my stepmom were so gracious to buy me the actual scrubs that I really wanted and because my scrubs are embroidered they couldn't buy me the tops but they did get me bottoms from figs the packaging is just so cute now I asked for the high-waisted Zamora pant and I'm a size large so normally I'm a size 8 10 Sometimes I can go up to a 12 in pants. I wanted the high-waisted. These have a cuff at the bottom because they are the joggers. And I wanted the high-waisted because my problem whenever I wear pants in general is I have a very small waist. Pants like these don't fall down on me. I absolutely love high-waisted everything. However, high-waisted scrubs were never a thing until recently because now that I have a pair, these are gonna be my absolute favorite pants. These don't fall down. Compared to the Grey's Anatomy ones that I wore today, these fell down so many times today. Every time I would sit down, they would fall down a little. High-waisted fit me so perfectly. I absolutely love these. And like I said, I got two pairs and these were actually a gift from my dad and my stepmom. So thank y'all, I absolutely love them. The next item that I got, and this is a gift from my sister. Thank you, sister, you're awesome. I wore them one day and that was my first shift today. Super comfortable. Now I gotta clean them. Look at this, after one use, this shoe is so comfortable. Any type of nursing shoe that I've tried on is so uncomfortable for me that I've just learned that tennis shoes are my way to go. And I cannot wait to invest in a lot more tennis shoes because I'm gonna have like every color of the rainbow. So I can just go back and forth between my tennis shoes and then, and you know, I'll actually prolong the life of my tennis shoes as well. This color goes really well with my navy scrubs. That's why I wanted a light pair of shoe. Just wanna say later on, I will be getting different colors of shoes. So you don't have to worry, I will be getting dark pairs soon. The next item that I got, and I just have to unbox to show you. Yes, I got a new bad drill. How cute is this? I just had to get a onesie with some baby feet on it. This was the cutest little bad drill that I found from Amazon, and I found a bunch of these on Etsy too, but I just liked the fact that it was two day shipping, so I purchased it on Amazon. Of course, I did get a few more headbands. Y'all know I love my headbands. Now these were actually gifted to me. So this one is super cute. It's baby feet with a little nurse on it. And then this one is Ray Dunn inspired and it's gray, which has all the cute little names on it like pull socks, pen light, stethoscope, badge reel, shears, gloves, vials. It's so cute. And then I also did get this black kitty cat one. Now this one is nice because it does have buttons on them, but I would prefer that my headbands don't have buttons. So it's nice that I at least have one that has buttons in case I don't want to wear my mask around my ears. I got this little notebook from Etsy. Once again, this was gifted to me. And at first I thought it was a little bit bigger. However, it is kind of small. It's pocket size, which is totally okay. It does say nurse, hope, compassionate, smart, loyal, strong, caring, healing. And then it has my name with my degrees. I'm not gonna write in it right away, but I did get it so I could go ahead and put all the most important information that I needed. I was gonna condense it all once I went through my orientation period and made sure that I had a little pocketbook full of info that I needed to know specifically for my job. Obviously, when I first start out, I'm gonna be using a very big notebook because I'm gonna have a lot of stuff I need to write down, but I figured this would be perfect. Whenever I do start on my own, I could have everything just condensed in this one little notebook. So this next item, I'm super excited to unbox. Now that y'all have seen my nursing bag empty, this is what it looks like full. This little bag is actually quite small, but it can hold a lot. So it's small but mighty, let me tell you. I used this on my first day today. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's vegan leather, so we'll see. But I just wanted a bag that was cute. I wanted a bag that was practical. I wanted a bag that I could wipe down very easily. I also wanted a bag that I could carry around as a satchel 
or a backpack. So for me, this was definitely a good purchase. And thanks to my mom, she actually bought this for me as a birthday gift because my birthday just passed. So that's why I feel like I have so many gifts from family because that's what I asked for, new job stuff, right? I haven't gotten quite down what I'm bringing to work with me yet, but when I figure it out, I can do a what's in my work bag video. The moment I feel like I know what to bring and what not to bring. <laughs> this next item that I got was very necessary. So I have a bunch of just black compression socks, but with the jogger pants that I have, and because I have favorite pairs of ankle socks that I like to wear, I already have a bunch of black compression socks. So a friend actually recommended these to me and they are compression stockings, but they don't have the little foot part. So they're not like a true sock. This just obviously goes on your calves. It helps prevent shin splints, helps keep the venous blood return going. And I figured I could then wear some of my favorite socks. I was gonna give these a try. I decided to get just one pair in nude because they are kind of pricey just for one pair. I wanted to give them a try, see if I liked them. And if I do, then I'll probably order a couple more. All right, now this next item is, I do have a locker at work, so I am planning on just keeping an abundance of pens at work. But I did decide to invest in these big Papermate Inkjoy pens. There are four colors in each pen, and I figured having to carry around less is more, so I'm gonna give these a try, see how I like them. And then the other pens that I got are miniature pens. These actually go on the back of the badge reel, so just like my highlighter and my Sharpie, but I didn't know which one I would find more helpful, so I'm gonna give both a try and see which one I like. For this next item, I'm so excited. I got just a pair of these goggles on Amazon. They are the, I believe, tortoise color, but the nice thing about these is they are protected on all sides and on top right here. So literally these are so cute and they're blue light glasses as well. So I definitely needed a cute pair of goggles because having those big chunky goggles is not fun and being in labor and delivery, I'm always gonna have to wear something protecting my face. I'll go ahead, give them a try and let you know what I think when I'm on the unit. I needed a new pencil case and I'm sticking with the gray theme and I got a pencil case that on the front just says basic and it's just gray colored so it just matches my back. Basically everything that I have is gray just so I know that it's mine and it's easy for me to pick out whenever I'm leaving things around and I have so many pens that I want to put in one place so I did get myself a pencil bag. Also got this bigger pencil bag or cosmetics bag just for everything else that is going in my backpack so all my stuff is now just either in a pencil pouch or this makeup bag right here. All right, this one's a big one. Aha, this one's the most exciting one yet. I'm so excited, y'all. Okay, so I had to get my own infant stethoscope. They do have a bunch on the unit for us to use. However, a bunch of people use those stethoscopes and I would just prefer to have my own. So I ended up getting a raspberry colored one. They didn't have too many colors to pick from. This is what the stethoscope looks like. It's an infant stethoscope. It is a lot smaller than my original stethoscope, but I'm so, so excited. I did get my own infant stethoscope. And of course, with a new stethoscope, I had to get myself a new stethoscope case. I did get, like I said, a gray one. This one's so cute because it has the heartbeat on there outlined as a stethoscope. And this one has a little bit more pockets for me to be able to put my stuff in, which is a little bit different than the first one that I had. And the stethoscope goes right down here. I'm so excited. This is definitely gonna fit all my stuff perfectly. You're gonna laugh at me, but I got scissors. Now, the reason that I got these is because on my unit, I am wearing surgical scrubs and we know that those surgical scrubs, you have no pockets. And what I came up with is I found little travel scissors that fold and I figured I could put a pair actually on my badge. So I could have a pair of scissors readily available on the back of my badge. All right, so these are what all three colors look like. Now, let me just go ahead and open. You just slide. It looks like these ones go up and then they're supposed to just be mini scissors. I figured I would need these on the unit a lot because there are 
bunches of things you always have to open. So I thought putting this on the back of my bag drill was genius and they are small and they just tuck right back in place. So this is such a good find. All right, y'all, I have more stuff for you. It is another day. I got more items in. I've kind of been waiting for all my packages to arrive and they came on different days. Now that I have a little bit of free time, I am just filming the rest of the stuff that I got. And this item is so cute. I got this on Amazon. It is post-it notes, but it says salty like saline. I wanted like a little to-do list. I want to be able to write things down so I don't forget to do something and I thought this was so cute and they actually peel off and stick so this is such a great buy and it's so small it will definitely fit in my scrub pocket so I definitely wanted something like this and the nice thing is that I can stick it right to my computer so I won't forget to do things the next item that I got are blue light glasses oh they are so cute I got a pair in a rose gold because they were big circular glasses all right here we go Oh, I feel like these are so cute. I definitely wanted glasses that were thin. I was on the computer all day today, so I'm really hoping that when I wear these tomorrow, they will be really helpful with the blue light. The next item that I have are these flashlight keychains. I am going to be wearing, like I said, the surgical scrubs that the hospital provides, so I'm not going to be able to carry too much in my pocket so i'm already carrying those little scissors on my actual badge reel and i came across these and i thought it would be so handy i can just clip it on my badge reel and it's a little light so i have it on hand if i want to do a neuro assessment i think these are going to come in handy i actually might leave one of these in my car too just in case i need a little flashlight all right y'all that is all that i have for you in today's haul video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe join the community i always love helping y'all out when i can and of course i always just want to wish you luck on your nursing journey Bye.